Hello everyone, I am Cambrian Man, and welcome back to Let's Play Newtopia. Uh, I went ahead and bought a, another healing potion, and we can go back to the subterranean and uh, head towards the next dungeon. Except there's going to be a bit of a problem doing that. Um, ooh, maybe I went the wrong way. This luck, dude. This looks really goofy when that happens. Um, I don't really remember my right way around this whole place. Um, however, I do know that we cannot just head to the next dungeon. There is unfortunately something we need to get before we, uh, we can do that. Um, now, the right way to do this is to wander around randomly and bomb walls and burn stalactites. However, I'm not going to do that. I'm pretty sure I remember where the critical item is hiding, so we will just go directly and see. Is there another ladder over here? Yeah. I think this person here says something. Yeah, her. I do know where he is. I can't help her. I don't think there's any way to help her. I've gone to her, I've gone back to Quinta, and it's just, it seems like it's one of those story things that has absolutely nothing to do with what's actually in the game. So, you know, good for you, Utopia. Now, there were people in the other, uh, in the, whoa, the other overworld which would heal us. Not so many in the subterranean sphere, and fewer as time goes on. It was really good to know. Let's burn these things just to make sure. I'm trying to remember how to get in here. I don't even know if this is important. I don't think I'm even going anywhere that needs to be gone. Is this place just completely pointless? I should I putting a bomb here? That would be weird, but you know. We're wasting time. We have nothing to do here. This place has nothing to do with where we need to be. But, you know... It can't all just be, you know, killing bosses in... A couple hits. Games like these are about exploring. And cherries. The most dangerous enemies here, the worms. Mostly because they're actually quite fast. Hmm, which way do we need to go? I don't think it's actually... I think we push this? Nah. Whatever. <coughs> now, there's a dude, and I don't think he's here, but... I'm trying to kind of give you some... Sphere of the sea, floating islands, quite beautiful. It used to be a large town where many people lived. Who cares? Not like it's an actual town. You can't go buy things. Oh, hey. Um, I think it's actually pointing us this way. Yeah, here. Oh, it's dark. Hey, dude. Hmm, I don't trust that guy. He seems shady. Why else would he live in a place that's like this? Dirty thief. Rainbow drop. The rainbow drop lets us walk over small gaps. Basically, single tile gaps we can walk over. It's like a. Like the bridge. 
So, what we were supposed to do is we are supposed to talk to that guy, and then we are supposed to go and find the old man who will tell us that his item was stolen. And we go back to this guy, threaten him, he tell us that uh, he hid this thing, blah, 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 who cares. Let's go ahead and go to the next dungeon if we can. I don't remember if we can actually get there yet, but I think we can. I think this is an old lady here. Is it? No, it's uh, no, it's good to keep. Good to keep in mind though. I don't think I'm gonna be needing to go back out of the dungeon to actually go here, but you know, maybe I will. Who knows? All these dudes. Oh. Might as well kill them. They might have cherries. Useless, useless, useless. That's where we need to go, right there. i just burn through this. Nope. Uh, what's here? Lady? Yep. No, I don't want the save point. I'm gonna just quick save. Mm, you know what? Just in case I actually do die. I should probably press the correct button. Which is the one button, which is the opposite of which. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I think this boss here is actually one of the tougher bosses. And this dungeon is actually one of them. Well, they always get more difficult. I mean, they should. It's getting later in the game. We're like halfway through the game now. Yeah, see these gaps? I'm mainly looking for cherries. I'm gonna end up getting myself killed by trying to get health back. Hmm. Oh, it's dangerous over there. I guess I should try to avoid enemies if I can. Rather than fighting them unnecessarily. Oh! Yes! One more. Hey dudes, how's it going? How am I supposed to get over there? My rainbow drop doesn't give me enough uh, space to go there. And I probably should just kill those guys, actually. That doesn't make sense. It says M. Yeah, let's, uh... I don't remember what, what's in this dungeon, either. No doubt something very... Ooh. Very useful? Probably the next sword. Although I actually would not mind the next, uh... Hey, got lucky. Not my... Hi, lady. Ooh, next armor. That's actually better. Yeah, that credit card has had his tail run over a few times. Oh, okay, I know this boss. I think he's actually one of the most, most annoying bosses we're going to come across. For a little while, anyway. There it is. I do not believe... Well, actually, I'm pretty sure... Nope. <laughs> they just gave us a new shield a few uh, dungeons ago and does nothing to protect us. Jeez, man, how are we supposed to dodge these? <coughs> these games, man. I mean, it's not like I'm in danger of dying, but still. Actually, the boss is actually fairly difficult, so maybe I am. I recall he basically is a. Uh, well, you'll see. Cherries. Anybody got some cherries for me? Whoa, hey! Control went a little wonky there. 
Part of the other problem is as you get weaker, you know, your shot gets weaker, it doesn't return to you. So it starts getting more annoying to kill enemies. I don't see why we would head south, actually. Maybe we need to, but I don't think so. As far as I know, none of the chests are not, not like invisible or anything. Maybe I'm wrong. Whatever. Hmm. Really tempted to go south just to see what happens. Puzzle room ish. Step on these plates and uh, arrows shoot out. Okay, let's go over here then. There you are. Come back here. Yoink. And we get to go all the way around him. Alright, crystal ball. So yeah, there are some puzzles. Not a whole lot, but some. It's a pretty styling purple suit of armor though. I'm almost certain that Going north will lead us to the boss, just because it looks like a boss kind of path. But we can double check it. Yep. Nope. Oh, hey. Oh, yeah. Ghosts. You know, it's not like we have any kind of special weapon either. It's just a sword. A bronze sword, in fact. There must be a bombable wall. Yes, uh, cherries. Yep, which means that's probably where the key to the crypt is. Yep. And these guys are all a joke because they cannot get to us. This guy can. I don't think they can cross on a little rainbow bridge, either. That was dumb. I'm not in terrible trouble, though. I'm pretty sure I have this boss down. Remember if I, I'm pretty sure I remember how to beat him. Which is to say, you shoot it a lot of times with the fireball. Oops. Should have gone the other way. Man, this is how Neon Cat gets around all the time. He's building rainbow bridges all over the place. Okay. Oh man, I guess I should probably light the room. Probably a good thing that there were no trap blocks there. And I really haven't played Zelda 1 in a while. I don't know what all I had. Danger room. Oh man, this room. This is not the worst of these rooms, though. There is a far worse room. That there is actually not a trap block. It just looks like one. Kind of a dick move to pull on us, but you know. And I think the room knew. Oh, these guys can be shot. Alright, 
what's the point of the room next door to us? I mean, we have everything. Now I'm tempted to go look. This is a room right next door and we already have everything we need. Well, let's see. What's here? Nothing. <laughs> it's just a... It's the worst trap ever and I fell for it. It's just like, here's the boss, here's how you get to the end of the level, but you know, you want to go to this dead-end room next to it? Go for it. I'm like, yeah, sure, why not? Oh man, I gotta sit here doing this block pushing thing. That was my fault. I mean, obviously it was my fault, but I, I don't know, I could blame you guys. You guys put me up to it, you dared me. Next time I die stupidly, it'll be because you guys dared me. Couldn't turn it down. Right, so, see this guy? So, his weak point is his tail. Um, which means you have to... Whoa! Which means you have to hit it in order to do any damage. You basically have to take him apart piece by piece. However, um... It's actually kind of hard to hit his tail. So my strategy... Is to basically pile him up so that he's all together in one thing, and then just hit him over and over. See? Every so often his tail is getting hit. I'm not even sure if it's destroying it, but it's getting hit. Probably not, you know, the ideal way to do it. Not the most exciting way to do it. But you do eventually kill him. Alright. And, and there you go. Um, yeah, that boss actually gave me a lot of trouble the first time I fought him because I was honestly trying to circle around him and actually hit him in the tail. Which is quite difficult if you played that... Uh, what's the name of that boss? Whatever that boss is in Link to the Past. It's, uh, it's harder than that, because he's really big, so it doesn't knock you off anything. Right, let's, let's peek inside the sea, uh, sea sphere just to, for kicks. Yep, so, subterranean sphere, done. You have defeated half the dungeons of the game. Basically completed half the game so far. So yeah, this is the Sea Sphere. It's got this like kind of Atlantis theme. Um, and actually, the, the overworld enemies start getting fairly difficult here. In the Sky Sphere, especially, they're just they're taking lots of hits. All right, but that's enough. See you guys next time on Let's Play Newtopia.